In today's video, we are heading to Niagara Falls, Canada with the grandkids. How do you find something to entertain six people ranging in age from 12 to 63? Well, we're going to show you how. So come on, doers. It's what we're doing today. Part of our family lives in the Niagara region of Ontario, so it's always fun when we're visiting to take a quick drive over to the falls, where there are unlimited things to do and see for all ages. Today we are hitting up some lunch, some museums and rides, and of course, the falls. Our first stop is brunch. We chose Denny's because it has a great menu for breakfast or lunch, and they're pretty fast. When you're traveling with kids, it's always nice to get in and out quickly so you can get on with your adventures. It's a pretty popular spot, however, so you might experience some wait times depending on when you're there. Next up, we're heading to check out Tussauds Wax Museum as it was an attraction we all agreed on. When we got there, they had a special where you could see the Wax Museum as well as Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum for a discounted price. Sounds like a plan. So tickets in hand, we are starting off at the Wax Museum. Tussauds Waxworth has 16 themed galleries with over 200 wax figures covering everything from actors, musicians, historical figures, politicians, heroes and more. So it is truly something for everyone. For Nana, there was Ryan Reynolds. Grandpa got to smack Will Smith. Dad got his Back to the Future dream car. And the kiddos got to plunge over the falls. There was lots to see, and the kids loved seeing some of their favorite characters in life-sized form. Who am I kidding? The adults loved it too. Awesome place for selfies with your favorite stars. Louis Tussaud was the great grandson of Marie Tussaud, creator of the Madame Tussauds Wax Museums, and he opened museums in many locations worldwide. In Niagara Falls, it is located at 5709 Victoria Avenue in close proximity to the attractions of Clifton Hill. If it's your first time visiting my channel, I'm Shelly and welcome to my channel, What Are We Doing Today? I'm a snowbird and I spend six months in Puerto Morelos, Mexico, and we spend six months here in Canada. So we have just are moving into our Canada home for the summer Canada phase. So we're going to be showing you some things to do in Canada. We spent probably between one and two hours in the Wax Museum. It's self-guided, so you can spend as much or as little time as you want and walk at your own pace. You might want to walk a little quicker through the horror chambers, though. Hours are noon to 8 p.m. Sunday to Thursday, and they're open till 10 on Friday and Saturday. And the site is handicap accessible. We all really enjoyed the museum and felt it was good value for the money. This was truly some great entertainment for all ages and it was a wonderful way to spend the afternoon at Niagara Falls with the grandkids. The 
Next up, we are heading over to Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, but along the way, the kids spotted the Frankenstein roller coaster and decided to take a ride. Papa and Nana decided to sit this one out, but by the sound of the screams, the kids and parents had a great time. It has a cool, cheesy entrance to lure you in. Next, we are off to Ripley's, which is described as kitschy oddities on display, including shrunken heads and rare animal skeletons. What kid can resist a shrunken human head? Okay, let's go. There truly are some real oddities here. Some that just make you go, ew, like the jars of saved belly button lint, to those that make you go, oh, cool, like the shadow sculptures. Human and animal oddities are popular here. If you're finding this video interesting, please like and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos, helping to you to navigate this season of life and how to enjoy it to the fullest. As promised, there's the shrunken head. of my YouTube channel, my mission I guess you would say, is to encourage you to go, experience, live, find out for yourself what it's like and to share my life as a snowbird, breaking down barriers and fear and embracing this season of your lives to enjoy it to the fullest. So come on doers, let's see what we're doing today. They have a section in here about the various historical attempts at going over the falls you can even do a simulated tightrope walk across yourself. There are so many interactive displays here. The kids are well entertained and occupied. They loved it. Mm. 
this one was probably one of our favorites. If you want to feel truly off balance, just take a walk across this bridge. Oh my gosh, the, the sensory feeling is just so strange in this little vortex thing here. Again, this museum was totally worth the entrance fees, and for the kids, it was awesome. Next up, Grandma and Grandpa took a little rest while the younger generation hit some arcades. Honestly, there's so much to just see as you wander Clifton Hill, off some place for people watching. We were here on a Sunday in May, so it wasn't too busy in the museums. There are lots of folks out and about, though, just be aware that during the summer months, it could get extremely busy. Don't forget to join my Facebook group. The link is in the description below. I post extra footage that doesn't make it to YouTube, and I can be more interactive with my fellow doers. We've got this. And now, the main attraction, the falls. Although it's not the tallest in the world, it's the amount of water that flows over that makes it so impressive. It's a combination of the height and the volume, and that makes it breathtaking. More than 6 million cubic feet of water go over per minute. The Canadian Horseshoe Falls drops an average of 188 feet into the Niagara River. The American Falls drop an average of 70 to 110 feet. The Niagara River connects Lake Erie to Lake Ontario and is 58 kilometers long. There are many things to do for an afternoon in Niagara Falls, Ontario, and we feel we covered enough for one day. hanging out back at the kiddos. It was an awesome day spent with the kids and grandkids and a must see if you're visiting Ontario, Canada in the future. Thanks for watching.